Rex Tillerson has said the U.S. would welcome a dialogue with North Korea and insisted the U.S. did not seek regime change in Pyongyang. The Secretary of State said the North Korean's nuclear weapons program would have to be on the table at any such talks and that the outcome would have to be that the regime would have to relinquish its arsenal while the U.S. would provide security assurances. The conciliatory tone and the emphasis on dialogue represented a pronounced contrast with Donald Trump, who has become significantly more agitated about North Korea as it continues its tests of long-range missiles. The Republican Senator Lindsey Graham said he had been told by the president that the regime's continued development of an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM capable of delivering a nuclear weapon to the U.S. mainland would lead to war between the two countries. He has told me that I believe him, Graham told NBC's Today program. China and Russia have responsibility for North Korean nuclear threat, says U.S. Reid Moore Tillerson's tone was also markedly different to Trump's on China's role with regard to North Korea, and its failure to pressure North Korea into curbing its weapons program. I am very disappointed in China, Trump tweeted on Sunday. They do nothing for us with North Korea, just talk. We will no longer allow this to continue. China could easily solve this problem, speaking at a rare appearance before the press at the State Department. Tillerson stressed that while China did have a great deal of potential leverage on Pyongyang, we certainly don't blame China for the situation in North Korea. Only the North Koreans are to blame for the situation. Such open dissonance between the president and members of his cabinet have become commonplace in the Trump administration. Tillerson conceded he had differences with the President, citing the example of the nuclear agreement with Iran, which Trump adamantly opposes, but he presented the divergent views as a plus, and a motivation in his job. If we did not have those differences, I would not be serving him, Tillerson said, giving an insight into the working relationship between the two men.